Okay, first, Google has enhanced its Google application and added some brand new features. Let's take a look at that. Now, most of us use the circle to search feature very effectively. And this feature is from Google application. And with this latest update to Google app, now we will be able to have deeper conversations about what's on our screen. Now we activate the circle to search, circle on a particular uh, area on the screen to search something about it. And here you can see, we now have the AI overview which is integrated right into circle to search It will directly show us the AI overview as you can see. When I scroll down, you can see we have got the AI overview and we can directly have conversation with AI. We've got AI mode over here, just tap on that. And you can see the image is attached over here and it is searching the information about this image. And if I want to have follow-up questions about this, I can tap on this ask anything and input further queries about this particular image that I've selected. So basically we are not only searching some images or some information on Google, we are getting an AI overview and we can also have a conversation about the area of the screen that we have selected. That's the first thing. Next, with the latest Google application, you can see we have got the AI mode built in right on this page and we have got the voice conversation option and we also have Nano Banana built in right over here. We have got all the news over here and right on top, we have got AI mode, voice conversation mode and Nano Banana. Now Nano Banana was integrated into the uh, lens. As you can see, this is the lens icon. When I tap on this, it will take me to Google Lens and here we have got the all new layout with a create image option with nano banana and now the same option is available right here we can directly access that from here as well and then when you tap on this voice icon you can see this is the uh, live conversation view we can ask anything we want to google right here and this is also integrated with gemini and here, this is the AI mode. You can ask anything that you want and get the answers right over here. Now that is something new on Google application. Now the next thing is, Google is also integrating Nano Banana right here into the search. Looks like they are betting big on Nano Banana on Google application. When we tap on the search bar, here I'm seeing the arrow, but with the latest version, you can see a plus button right over here. When you tap on that, you will get options to upload the images from gallery, take an image from camera, AI mode and then comes the create images option. So it looks like the nano banana is getting everywhere on the Google application and the search options. Next, here is something very interesting for you guys. When you swipe towards the left, we get this Google discover page where we can go through different articles, news, etc. And now what it is doing is it is combining multiple different sources into one single news. As you can see, I have got some news article here with a video and here the icons are combined. And when I tap on those icons, I will get to see more related articles about this kind of news. You can see I have got an article here and it has got plus eight different sources and different news related to this. I can just tap on this to access them. You can see I got XTA developers, Analytics Insight, ZDNet, uh, geeky gadgets, XDA, all these have, are appearing right here. And this becomes very easy for us to search the related news articles, related topics on Discover page. Earlier, it was not possible. Earlier, we could see just one news here, but now it's combined with multiple different sources. That's another thing to note here. Next, since we are talking about Nano Banana, I have got a very interesting tip for you guys. When you have a low resolution image, you can ask Nano Banana to increase the resolution of that image to 4K and the result are just amazing. Now I have already posted a video about what Nano Banana can do. It's a detailed video with different prompts that you can use on Nano Banana. If you have missed that video, go ahead and check that out. But let me just show you this. Let's go to Gemini and uh, let me just upload an image here. Let's tap on create image. This is of course using Nano Banana. I'll tap on plus and I'll go to gallery and here I've got an image which is with low resolution. I'll just select this particular image. Now the prompt here is upscale to 4K. Let me just show you that this was posted by Nano Banana on X. It says you can use Nano Banana Pro to accurately upscale your low resolution images to 4K. Prompt is upscale to 4K. Now let's use this prompt upscale to 4K. Let me just send this. Now I've already checked the results. The results are just amazing. It increases the resolution. Let me show you that the image is here. Now let me download this image and let me show you the resolution of the original image and the upscaled image. It's downloaded, you can see this is the original image. Let me just swipe up and show you the resolution. It's 1052 by 433 pixels and the size is just about 319 KB. Now let me show you the upscaled image here. This is the upscaled image and it looks really good actually to the naked eye. Now you can see the size is 6.27 MB which is almost about 20 times bigger and it's 4 megapixels. 
2752 by 1536 pixels may not be exactly 4K resolution, but yes, this image looks really good and it can do a great job in upscaling the images. So go ahead, use Nano Banana feature on your uh, on your Gemini to upscale your low resolution images. This actually works better than the Enhanced X application on Samsung Galaxy phones. The last thing that I want to talk about is again Gemini. Now when I press and hold on the side button here, we can activate Gemini and it gives you this option share screen with live and we can't really circle to search on the screen to talk about a specific portion of the screen using the side key using Gemini. We will have to press and hold on the home screen and then ask Google about the screen but here when you activate Gemini it is not really possible. You will have to share the screen with live or you will have to take a screenshot and upload it on Gemini. Now for this what Google is doing is they're adding a new feature called circle screen. You can see this screen recording shared by Android Authority. When you activate Gemini, you can see share screen with live and ask about screen button as well. And you will have to swipe from the corner of the screen and then circle the portion of the screen and ask about that to Gemini. Now that is going to be a pretty handy feature. Even though we have circle to search available, it's not available when you activate Gemini. But now we are going to get this brand new feature called circle screen on Gemini. Now that's another update for you guys. That's about it. These are some updates about the Google applications. Let me know what you think about these updates. I keep updating you guys about all these changes because these are going to be very useful in your day-to-day -day life and you should be updated with all these changes, new features so that you can use it effectively. Let me know your thoughts, drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to download our wallpaper application Wallverse. The wallpaper that I've used in this particular video is from the category minimal. Go ahead and check out uh, all the categories that we have and uh, we are currently running an offer. You can go for a lifetime subscription with 50% discount. So do go ahead and and check this out. We are ending this offer by this month end. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.